Well, good afternoon from Hong Kong. Um, I got a couple private emails um, here on YouTube, and I've, I've got a you know my progress of, of videos, and uh, and instead of going through all, all kinds of videos, they say, well, could I just make a video of you know just what my solar system is, solar power system. So I figured, why not? Today's a pretty crappy day. Um, not a lot of sunshine. But basically what I've got, I've got four 300-watt panels. Now that's 300 watts at an open circuit voltage of 36 volts. And that's what I've got. And they're all wired in parallel. So each panel has a positive and a negative, comes through. You can see this post that comes in here. There's a total of eight wires that are in there. And those are um, 6 mm square. I think that's like a 10 AWG, something like that, uh, that comes in. It's about 3 meters, so it's what, about 12 feet maybe. Um, from these panels, from that center point, all the wires come right to there and they're connected. They're all equal length. And that, so these four panels, which is 1,200 watts at 36 volt open circuit, for a 24 volt um, system, they come in, and that, and then they come to a control center. Let me kind of go over here. This is my control center. Now, what it is is the panels come in to this bow array. Each panel, again, they're connected in parallel. So I've got panel one, panel two, panel three, and panel four. Um, my um, combiner box here has enough room for one more to give me 50 amps and that and then that <clears throat> is connect in this combiner box it's connected to a surge protecting device for lightning protection and I have a main disconnect and I've gone over it before these these panel or these breakers are 10 amps rated up to 48 volt DC and uh, and my main is a 50 amp rated up to 48 volt DC. I break the positive and the negative, so each one is independent. So if one goes off, the negative and the positive is broken. Now that comes into my TriStar, or Morningstar, MPPT charge controller. It's a TS60, so it's 60 amps. So the charge controller is at 60 amps, and that, but yet this array is rated for a maximum of 50. So I do not overpower my charge controller. They're not the cheapest. So let me get down here a little bit. <clears throat> I fuse everything with an ANL fuse um, for this charge controller. I have a blocking diode that is up here. And now what that is is so um, the power from this goes into here. Out is fused and that to the battery bank and I have this 200 amp blocking diode and the reason why I have this blocking diode is because some DC inductive motors can throw a, a positive charge into the negative line so what happens is any any positive line that would be in there it poof, throws it back into here and goes where it should again I've got a disconnect this disconnects um, the, the battery, the, you know, from the batteries, and that, and then this disconnects the solar panels, so I can completely isolate the charge controller should I need to work on it. Now, I have two other devices down here, other Morningstar controllers, and now these charge controllers are dump loads. And what this is, is say in the summertime when I'm getting lots and lots of lots of sunshine on the boat here on the solar panels this and say the batteries top off they've they're in float we don't need anything else this charge controller can shut off well I don't want this to shut off I want every drop of sunshine that falls on my solar panels so this would kick on and any of that power so this is still coming in this is a dump load so when the voltage gets high and that what this will do is this will go and it'll go to a DC water heating element and again that's uh, with 1300 watts 
and that, or 1,800 watts, I'm sorry, 1,800 watt heating element and that. So that is my dump load. So I keep making that. I'll make hot water. You know, you can never have enough hot water. So, and then these two disconnects down here um, actually shut off. Well, they're, they're off right now because it's winter time and I'm, it's not going to happen. And that. So this other um, dump load is for wind turbines. Now I'm slowly wiring that up. I'm getting this all together because now what happens is the wind turbines are three-phase AC output. So I have a starboard and I have a port because I'm going to be putting up two wind turbines. So the three-phase AC comes in the bottom here. And that and this is a full-width bridge rectifier. And that changes three-phase AC from the wind turbines into DC. So you have the negative and the positive here. Negative and the positive. So those come down and, well, the eight, excuse me, let me back up a little bit. The wind turbines come into a brake, brake switch, then it goes to the br bridge rectifier. Out of the bridge rectifier, goes down to, I have a monitoring system here. So here's port, and here's starboard. And these are for my wind turbines, and this is called Watts View. And so the, the Watts View is so I can monitor, so I can turn on my computer, and I can actually see how many amps that I have. And that, do a search on Watts View, excellent, excellent equipment. And, that, and I don't know if you can see in the back, but they're, they connect serial. Now I've taken uh, a blank um, electrical plate and a standard electrical box, gang box if you would call it, and this blank, I just cut the holes in it to make this work. And that, if you see this negative and this positive here, these go out to the batteries. And that, in the back of these, the dump loads, the wires go straight to they're down into the engine room where the water heater will be. That's not hooked up yet. But now, as we get to this monitoring, because I, I want to monitor my power, it's very, very important that I know how much power I'm making and how much power I'm using. So I, I do a lot of monitoring, a lot of data logging here. And that, So these are just for the wind turbines. So now how do I monitor the, my charge controller? Well, I do have a remote monitor. Normally, you've seen other people, they have, you can buy um, the actual um, meter that it's right here. But I don't go into this cabinet that often. I want it to be wall-mounted, so that's a remote um, meter. So I have that down in the V-berth. But inside this controller, there's all kinds of connectors for it. And then that's where it comes down to this meter hub. Now, this is made for Morningstar, you know, by Morningstar for Morningstar. And that, and what this does is this hub connects these so I can read it on this remote meter. And that I can see what this is making, what this is taking in. I can see what these are dumping out. And that and these all connect here, and then it goes to remote meter. Well, there's also another option that I have, and it's I can use my computer. Just as I use for the wind turbines, I use the Watts view. I've got from Morningstar, now this is serial, again, so it's serial out from these controllers, and it comes to this and it changes it to an RS-485. So these two RS-485 outputs here, these are the two devices, because they go, this is, this is two and this is three, so two and three, they come in. And they go in to my number one charge controller, my MPPT. And I use an Ethernet connection, and it goes into my... A router and I connect my computer that way. Now there's one thing because my system is 24 volts and that these operate, these need to be powered with 12 volt. So what I've got is I've got a little, I've got a, a voltage, um, this senses just the voltage and this is actually powering, it carries current and that. So off of this voltage that is how these understand, you know, the voltage of what my batteries are. So no, no current, no amps are carried on this volt side. But on this side, it does carry some amps, so I can use it to power these watts views because they do need 24 volts to power them for the data logging. And that, and then over here, I have a converter. It'll convert 24 volts down to 12 volts and that's what powers these 
and that and that's how the power comes in and so what I'll do is I'll show, show um, shut this up but I've got a temporary setup I've got um, I use 95 mm square wire as my main output which is what um, three uh, you know zero 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 AWG wire that goes out from these posts um, but right now I've got going up just to my inverter as I do my wiring this is my inverters up here <clears throat> But anyway, I've just got this set up, and then here's another remote monitor um, that I have set up. So that's how the solar power comes in. But now, I've been working. It's kind of dark down here because it's so um, dark out. But again, I've got other videos that kind of show the power that's coming in. So now this is the TriStar for my Morningstar. This tells me the power. So I've got it set to my MPPT controller. So right now I've got 100 watts coming in. It's only 4 amps charging. But I've turned on some lights and I have some, th some things going. As you can see, I've got 1.5 amps that are charging. Batteries are at 24.8. But anyway, that's, that's more monitoring. But what I've got is down here in the floor hatch, right now I've just got... Um, Eight batteries, eight six volt batteries, and uh, so just over um, 400 amp hours. And uh, and as you can see, I'm I'm wiring things up, and you can see I, it's it's big wire. I don't know if you can see it. It's it's really thick. I mean, it's as thick as my thumb. And that, uh, but this is the wire that I use. And now I've got a I've got a panel that's over here to my right. Uh, you can't see right now. What it is is I'm wiring these up from here give you a better view I've taken the cover off um, don't know if you can see it down there is, is the shunt and that and then over here is my positive side so and that's how things come but now off of that I'm coming to a main disconnect and that and so now the main disconnects now these are on now the main disconnects out so this one is out I'm sending out then to an ANL fuse, this goes to the my DC distribution panel, and that to power my um, my water pump to power lights that I have here. Then this one back here is going um, directly to my inverter that's going to be in a cabinet into an vented cabinet over there. But that's how the power comes into my batteries and how it's going to go out. And, uh, and I just thought it would be good to show, you know, how things work in just, just a basic video that should I ever have anyone ask a question. That, let's see, we're doing laundry again. And that, but this, this all, it's a washing machine and that. But these panels, these panels produce all the power that I'm using right now. Um... You can see this is not so good, but I put this in this last summer, but this is a self-contained, it's got an internal battery in it, and it's got a small solar panel here that um, seems to be getting a lot of gunk on it, but this little, these solar cells charge up the internal battery, so this fan will run 24 hours a day, and, that, and it's not connected to any system, it's just, it's a independent system. So I'm going to be putting a few more of those in. But, I mean, it's not rocket science. And even on a crappy day like this, I've got this. Well, it's you know, almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I think. But I, I'm still getting, right now, at 3, and we're in the middle of January. You know, I'm still getting at 3 p.m. And, that, and the sun would be over there. I'm still getting, you know, 5 amps. And that at at three o'clock in the afternoon, um, the sun kind of peaked out, and I was getting over 20 amps, you know, per hour. And that I get up to 30 amps on good days, and that. But the, this is the system, and that. And what's nice is 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 the safety, the safety of the combiner box, my fusing, and the monitoring. It's very, very important for me to monitor. I want to know how much power I have, how much I'm making, and what I can use. 
And that's that's mainly the whole purpose of how I set up my system. And uh, and it's it's all about safety. Uh, shut offs, fuses, and uh, just <laughs> tie wrapping <laughs> and twisting some wires to your uh, to your batteries um, to the post and terminals. And uh, it's not a good thing. Bolt things down. So that that's it. And I hope that um, kind of answers a lot of questions. And that of how my little control panel set up is. That so for May and I here in Hong Kong, be good, be safe, and always be well. Bye-bye.